So IRAs are a great way to save and invest for retirement without the IRS bugging you for taxes along the way. So today we're going to do a top to bottom explanation of the traditional IRA. So there's a few types of IRAs and the traditional IRA is one of the most common ones. Now the traditional IRA is just a name attached to an account. There's actually no investments that come with it or that are inside of it. You actually either have to pick the investments yourself or find a guy to pick the investments for you. Now the idea is that you're going to contribute some of your earnings into this account. By investing over time, you'll have money when it's time to retire. Now the money that you put in a traditional IRA is actually credited back to you at tax time. See the IRS says, well, hey, you put money in throughout the year and you already pay taxes on that money when you put it in. So that's not fair. We'll credit you back. Now, if you buy investments with the money that you put into the traditional IRA, maybe stocks, uh, mutual funds, ETFs, etc., and those actually make a profit along the way, well, you don't have to pay taxes as you go. You'll do that when you retire. With a traditional IRA, you actually don't pay taxes on any of the contributions or the gains, the profits made by the investments until you retire and start taking money out. So that's a huge benefit because your money gets to grow without being taxed little by little along the way, like it would be in a general uh, trading account. Now for 2017, you can put in up to $5,500 in a traditional IRA. You can go as high as 6,500 if you're over the age of 50. But there's an exception to that rule. If you had a 401k at work, maybe you don't work at that job anymore, but the 401k is still there, you can actually move all of that money into a traditional IRA. Don't pay any taxes, no penalties, no fees for doing that even if the amount that you're moving over is greater than the max contribution of 5,500 or 6,500. If you need help with that, I'm your guy, give me a call, I'd be glad to help you. Okay, so you've got your traditional IRA, let's say you move some money over from a 401k, or you've been contributing to it, and now you want to invest in something. How does that work? Actually, you can invest in almost anything you want. The only exceptions are life insurance, and collectibles. Now collectibles are just general things that you think of as collectible. Uh, stamps, baseball cards, antique rugs, if you're into that sort of stuff. Anything that's a collectible, you're just not allowed to invest an IRA into that. You can invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, exchange traded funds, options, currencies, real estate, small businesses, strip clubs, pot. <laughs> okay, wait, let's keep it clean, let's keep it clean. Okay, so over the years you've invested in stuff, right? Let's pretend you've invested, your life has gone on, you had a great life, it's time to retire, spend time with your family. How does that work? Well, in a traditional IRA, you've agreed that you will leave the money in there until you are 59 and a half. Not so bad, right? When you turn 59 and a half, you can start taking money out with no penalties. Now things happen, and if you need to take money out before 59 and a half, nobody's gonna stop you but the IRS is gonna tax you. So you wanna make sure if you have to take money out of your traditional IRA before 59 and a half, that it's the last resort. I mean, you better be on your last penny before you do something like this because the IRS is gonna tax 10% of whatever you take out. So right when you take it out, they're taking 10% right off the top. Not only that, whatever you take out, they're gonna make you count it as income when you do your taxes. So it's gonna raise your overall income, which could put you in a higher tax bracket and cost you even more. Now, when you make it to 59 and a half, you could take out money at that point uh, for the rest of your life. That's when you'll start paying taxes on all that money you contributed. Remember that all those years, the IRS credited you back for those contributions that you made. So now it's time to start paying Uncle Sam. Now, if you're retired at this point and you're taking money out, chances are you have a lower income. You might be in a lower tax bracket. So it's not so bad. It's not like you're gonna pay a lot of taxes unless you have an unbelievable amount of income when you retire. Now, you can take out as much or as little as you like once you're 59 and a half. However, once you turn 70 and a half, I don't know how they come up with these numbers, but once you turn 70 and a half, then the IRS is just gonna ask you to take a minimum amount every single year until you, you know, until you, Okay, well, I hope that helps, but if you have more questions, I'm here for you if you wanna talk or have more questions about the traditional IRA or anything else that has to do with retirement investing. If you'd like someone to manage those investments for you, then head to jazzwealth.com, go up to the top, click invest now, fill out those couple little drop down menus, and I will personally follow up with you to make sure you get your account open 
or transferred from wherever you might have it. If you'd like to speak before you get started, or maybe just have a simple question, I'm always available by email. You can leave a comment to this video, or as always, you can contact me directly at... <laughs>